Sure. So I'm um, uh, Olivier Godin. I'm the CEO and one of the co-founders of Solar Source, and I've been with the company since ever, so since uh, 14 years. Solar Source is a company that started uh, 14 years ago in Geneva, in plan les in La Fonchite. And the problem we have been trying to solve all this time is how do we get engineers to, deliver, to do a better job and to do better code. Um, if, if you look at the way uh, engineers very often do code is they think about what the code is supposed to do, so the feature of the software, and they tend to not spend much time on whether it follows industry standard, whether it has a certain quality, which uh, seems okay at first, but uh, leads to lots of problems uh, later on. And we believe at SonarSource that the reason that engineers do not put focus on the code, do not do what we call clean code, is the fact that they do not have the information at the right time, in the right place. So when they discover that, it's too late. It's not that they don't want to do a good job, it's just that they don't get the chance to do it. So if we can provide this information at the right time, in the right place, so as they are writing code, um, we, we absolutely believe uh, engineers will do a better job. So that's really um, what we have been doing for the last 14 years. And then with lots of variations, which is we look at all sorts of uh, uh, characteristics of the code, the sustainability, the security, the safety, the reliability, the maintainability. They are all important. They all bring lots of benefits. We do that over 30 programming languages now including infrastructure as code. And um, we are going deeper and deeper, and we try to be very precise, because we don't want to mislead uh, engineers. They will not like it uh, anyway. <laughs> and and we, we are trying to uh, also go super fast uh, to, to be able to, to, to show information as, uh, as engineers code. Um, in terms of uh, where we started, we started at Fongit, and um, I think the main help that we received, which was super good, was some help in the, I would say, back office, contract management, uh, uh, company creation, uh, of, of course, uh, some offices, some advices, some short track to understanding what you need to think about, uh, how, how should we think about certain things like um, equity, option plans, etc. which, I mean, uh, pe people who start companies, they can figure that out, but all the time they, they spend to figure it out is time they don't spend on developing their, their product, their business. So for us, it was really a, a great short track. Um, so today we we are we are getting to um, 200 million uh, dollar of annual recurring revenue. So it's a, it's a great achievement. We have a big big year over year growth. We have more than 350,000 companies that use the product, six million developers, 20,000 commercial customers. Um, one one of the numbers that we have in mind is. If you think about the development market, there are, you, you find various numbers, but something like 75 million developers. And all these developers, they could and they should use Sonar. Um, say, in other words, there is another way, which is a, uh, a double negation to say it, which is they have no reason to not use Sonar. It, it is going to help them, it is going to help them to do a better job and to, to, to deliver a better software. So they have no reason to not do it. How do we get um, from 6 million developers 
to 60, 70 million developers is really our uh, next big challenge. Um, I, I think we have the product for this, and now it's, it's about awareness, education, evangelization. So it's, it's different challenges that we have in front of us so far. I would say from a, from a marketing point of view, we, um, we have taken the easy, the easy path. We took the hard path on the product, which is apparently the most difficult thing to do. Not for us, but uh, <laughs> it is for many companies. And now we have to take, to take the hard path on the, on the marketing side. So that's, that's really our big goal. So I, I think there are several types of uh, companies that uh, entrepreneurs try to create. And, and one, one message I can, uh, I can uh, send to entrepreneurs is about if they are going to, to base uh, their company on a product, uh, that, that's really what, what I know about. If they are going to do this, I would really encourage them to be very, very careful about make sure your product is solving a need, a real need. So no like, let's develop that for one year, two years, three years, and we will see. More like, let's do like three weeks, let's expose it to uh, users, let's see what happens for real, not don't demo on ask for feedback. Get get people to use it. Let's see where what doesn't work. Most of it will not work at first, and and fix what you see is not working. When you don't know, don't don't change. Wait until you know. Really invest your time, um, your time on your energy on things which are real. That's I think that's that's something we have done very very well uh, at Sonosource a little bit intuitively at first and then very intentionally later on um, and it's it's um, that that has really helped uh, in our journey which is we have been delivering every two months value to uh, value to users so they trust us they will give us feedback they will raise a hand when it doesn't work because they know we will listen and sometimes adjust sometimes explain sometimes do nothing but they know they are, they are being listened. It's extremely important um, when you want to have traction with your product, when you want to have what we call product-led growth, which is some of the growth you, you are gonna get in, with your business is gonna come from the product. Um, this is extremely important to, uh, to, to be focused on value of the product. So that's my uh, message to entrepreneurs.